All right, so here's the world beater, Hamzat Shumayev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Got to think he's going to try to wrestle here today. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon, whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Chimaev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Proudly representing Sydney, Australia. He was born in New Zealand, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down, he's able to get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at Smeaton Grange will tell you, this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the gi during training camp. Robert Whitaker, back in, ideally, in a big way for him here tonight. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, here we go with round one, and let us see where Robert Whitaker is at this stage of his career. Most of the fans believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is still elite. He's always been a well-rounded fighter. The focus, the aspiration remains on the UFC world title, but a lot of wars in this guy's career, of course, with Yoel Romero and others back in the day. How much fight is left in the dog? Find out right now as Robert Whitaker tries to get off to a good start. Punch there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. kick is there. Just over three minutes to go. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. All right, close guard now. Oh. Oh. 
Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Shot there by the champ. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. This is a terrible position. A lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Right into side control. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Shimaev's now looking for a darce choke. That darce choke is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. And they turn. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He's getting better with the strike. Once you cut those angles and get out of his brain, we have to see him doing things. Plan B to get that close. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, second round underway. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space. Allows him to get back to the first All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened. Oh, oh you got to start to look to finish him now. Straight punch. Useful. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Oh, nice takedown. He passed the half guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. The swelling is starting to show. He has been beaten up from the top. He has got to move. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a darts choke. Oh my goodness, that darts choke is very tight. Oh, man, another strike right on that swollen area. Somebody get the man an ice pack, please. Now it's his mouth. Under a minute now to go. The ground strikes continue to pile up. And now the damage is about to start. Shimaev's in half guard. 
All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Seconds winding down in round two. Nice strike from the bottom position. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Whitaker's eye may not recover, folks. You can see the visible damage. It is nearly completely swollen shut at this point in time. Referee is watching things closely. I wouldn't be surprised, candidly, if the doctor stops the fight here between rounds. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of the defense. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Just misses with the right. Chimaev gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, that was very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, there he goes. Big elbow there, Lance. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good. Separation between the two fighters. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a. He's got to start going now. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Whitaker. Heard him again, bro. All right, pause in the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent. Seeing where his opponent is, he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. Nope, there it is. Doctor waves off the fight. Certainly an unfortunate end to this one, but you have to protect a one-eyed fight. Absolutely. All right, so the doctor stoppage comes in the middle of this round, and ultimately too much damage sustained to that eye, and he was unable to continue. Well, you saw it over the course of the fight. The swelling got worse and worse, and over time, the referee has to truly think about the well-being of the fighter. In doing that, called in the physician, physician came and took a look, and you see the decision that was made. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO!